Oh, hey, Matt Gay, this is Bob from Bob Zen's Man Cave, and we are at John Atchison's home, and his uh, layout. It is called the Santa Fe Argentine Division, and behind me is a proposed model of Union Station here in Kansas City, and let's go take a look at his layout. Let's go take a look at the rest of this room, shall we? It is in a basement of a house, and it took up all the space in the basement. If you can imagine everything in your basement just completely trains, this is probably what it would look like. But in my basement it would be a little bit bigger. But, can't have it always that way, you know? He uses a, a lot of manual throws, some with hand throws and others with uh, pull tabs to switch the switch. Now this little tunnel here is where the train comes in from the stairwell which comes around from the Union Station on the other side to the left. And it comes in here all the way over to the Santa Fe yard where all the locomotive power is just sitting there waiting maybe getting some maintenance done uh, a variety of things. Building up some uh, power consists, getting ready to go over and pick up some trains farther down. Now it's a fairly large yard. That takes up quite a bit of space, but it looks awesome. It does need some more work, and they do a lot of uh, obsessions here. Uh, one thing to note is the Kansas City area has probably the most uh, operating layouts that people rotate in and out for operating sessions in the nation. They have quite a grand setup with the schedule and everything else and it, it seems to work out really well. And uh, a lot of these layouts are really good. Oh look, we have a duck under. Now the green elevator that was back there is all made out of PVC pipe. Now you've got some intermodal uh, staging areas here with some tractor trailer cars, a lot of industry operations on this layout. Uh, some more motive power from the other side and we kind of get over to the other side of that uh, part of the layout and we have some of the industries uh, some uh, warehouses and some other uh, maintenance and industries some chemical plants uh, this TG and Y building is made out of looks like uh, a little bit of cardboard and some printed pictures that were scaled down to make it look like the real building. Yeah, a little bit cheaper way of doing it, but it makes it look uh, pretty real. You got uh, some car staging area for loading up on auto racks and some more uh, staging areas. Yeah, the elevator A. On the other side of the elevator, we have some more maintenance shops um, and loading stations. And over here to the main line, where it is a double main line. Which uh, also has another track that goes up over the bridge in the background there. I really like the crossing scenes. It's kind of a scene you would see when you're driving around out in the real world. And uh, it's a very good use of the trees and uh, foliage and some rocks. Even a little bit of stream running around back there. This double main line. Uh, one goes, both those there go down in the helix, which is underneath this one corner right there. And the main line goes off to the right 
and splits off to do it a couple different things. Uh, one it splits off in a double main line over here around the cornfield and then at the bottom of the helix it comes out and goes down to the second level. Now this is on a peninsula sticking out from the, the helix end. We've got some nice power lines set up here. It's a pretty nice scene. It comes all the way around the other side of this wall. Got a nice little river scene there too. All in all pretty awesome. On the upper level here we have some more industries and a town with a regular kind of bridge for driving over. You know, that's the kind of bridge I like. But I also like train bridges. That's a hand painted background. Um, not too bad. There are better ones out there, yes, yes, but you know, it works for this scene that we see here. Now we're coming into another industry area out in the farmlands and so forth. Um, getting ready to pick up whatever products they have. And if you want to stop and get some barbecue at the Boxcar BBQ, go ahead and do so. And you got some farms and a farmhouse and uh, some more industries. Uh, there's a crossover in here. And going down this other peninsula. On the other side of the peninsula we have what's going into East Lawrence, Kansas. And where there's a bunch of industries over here and some uh, some yards and staging yards. Nice big grain elevator. I actually have the same grain elevator on my layout. And we have a town that's being uh, built uh, and modeled up right now. So that's a work in progress. And we have the tracks coming together and merging over to, hey, there's UPS. I wonder if they're delivering my uh, new train stuff today. Uh, if not, they're out there in East Lawrence, Kansas, delivering to those people's houses. Man, I wish they're delivering to my house. Again. And as the cars come over here, you start getting to the yard limit and the power station. Oh wait, yard limit? Where's the yard? Oh, there's the yards. There's a staging yard down here underneath and a yard up the top. So you can basically get the main line going all the way around the room free running. And this lower staging yard is just that, just a staging yard. And it's a fairly large yard, it's split up in, I believe, uh, eight, ten tracks wide. And you can tell how they made, or how he made, the, his switch ground throws. Run them through a pipe that goes underneath the track. And uh, it's a pretty good idea. And as you come around, got some... Uh, track maintenance going on with uh, two or three switches are being replaced and we're coming over here on the top of the yard that's an upper yard behind the furnace and a nice big green elevator now he utilized every space of this basement going around the furnace uh, the water heater is in here somewhere behind a wall or hidden around 
uh, but he covered up everything as much as he could. And this is back over to the stairwell. As you can see, the track comes all the way around the stairs and down. Some of you like lighting, and you wonder how people light up their layouts. Uh, there's track lighting, there's Christmas tree lights in here. Uh, these are incandescent bulbs, uh, outdoor house lights, all the way over to fluorescent light. And most of these have two bulbs in each. And so there's quite a bit of fluorescent lighting in here. But it lights up the room fairly well. The only thing he wishes he had more light is in the helix. And he'll probably uh, modify that with some more light at some point. Because he really hates to try and put stuff back on the track when it, you can't see it. Well, Man Cave, this has been my Man Cave visit to John Atchison's Santa Fe Argentine Division Model Railroad in Kansas City, Kansas, actually. Um, as you can see, it looked very well done. Uh, the layout is mostly complete, still putting down a lot of scenery and buildings and stuff like that, but uh, it looks awesome. If you ever get a chance to come up, to Kansas City and meet up with it with uh, John. You know, just gotta find him. <laughs> so anyway, if you like what you saw here today, click uh, subscribe up here, or uh, follow my links to my Facebook page, Google Plus page, and follow me on Twitter. And as always, Mancavians, happy model railroading, and stay off the tracks. I'm at the N Scale Convention here in Kansas City, 2016. So. Stay tuned for more videos to come. Bye. Oh, good. Yeah, I'll check it out. Well, man, Cavians, if you like what you saw here today, click subscribe. Or click on the links down below. And follow me on Facebook, Google+, and Twitter. And as always, happy model railroading. And stay off the tracks.